everyone, this is Edgar Morales from Atena, and I'm going to show you today how to configure your MIDI station KL3W with a wireless camera. So let's enter into System Administrator in order to do the settings. Now, there are two different settings you need to do here in System Administrator. First of all, you need to do settings with the Wi-Fi module here in System and Wi-Fi module. Uh, antennas must be plugged into the back panel of the MIDI station and then the only thing you need to do after that is create a password. After you create the password and after you apply, the media station uh, Wi-Fi module will be already on. Then you need to go to video in and out and you need to go here to video inputs. You need to select the channel in which you are going to be entering the RTMP protocol. In this case will be channel number two. The signal type is encoder the protocol is RTMP, then you enter the IP address of the Wi-Fi module. It's this one and it's by default. A slash live, a slash any name you want to give. In this case, the name I am giving is test. Click here on apply and the settings on the media stations are now finished. So now let's do settings into the wireless camera. So we are right now on uh, um, the system administrator part of one wireless camera. So in this case, uh, first thing you need to do is pair the camera with the media station. The way to do it is basically just finding the Wi-Fi just like you would do it on any other device. So the name of the Wi-Fi of the media station is cbox wifi So I just enter it and enter the password you just created. Then click here in link and wait for it a few seconds. So after the connection has been successful, the last thing you need to do is to enter the parameters into the RTMP uh, platform. In this case, on this camera is called Stream Publish. So the data you need to input, first of all, is the IP address of the media station uh, Wi-Fi module, the stream name, which is live slash test is the name we created and then username and passwords which are the same username and password from system administrator then click here in save once the parameters have been successfully uh, stored you need to click in log out so once that you have log out uh, it will depend on the camera in this case this camera needs to be disconnected from the network so that it can start automatically working with the media station so let's take a look into online director to see if we can find our camera there. In this case, you only need to click here to go to online director. And you are supposed to be seeing the camera right here. So this is the camera, which is the wireless one, the one we have configured from the module. Um, going to be moving it so you can see it's the one. So now you see how you can connect a wireless camera with the media station. That has been everything for today. This is Edgar Morales and thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.